Hello subscribers, this is Uzair Aziz and today I will be teaching you masking. Since many people have requested to do a tutorial on this, so I will be teaching you from the very beginning and till the end and I will start from the very basics of masking. So what is masking? Masking is actually revealing the background layer from the foreground or I just it means like I want some portion of the background layer. Let's take an example. This is my background layer. I will just duplicate it and will rename it and I will just name it top layer. Alright. So this layer is in the top of the background layer. I'll I'll alright. So I'll make a rectangle rectangular selection here and I'll fill it with the black color. So I have this black rectangle on the top and the white background. So what if I want some portion to of the background to be revealed for example I want to write my name here I'll just there are two ways one one way is to erase use eraser tool so now I'm using the eraser tool and I'll be just erasing let's suppose I'm writing Photoshop PS so now I have made a mistake that there is no gap in this S so what I will do I will just undo this and I will do it again what if I have made so many mistakes that I just cannot undo further like I have just this 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 so I have made so many mistakes let's try to undo all these steps oh my god and again undo I am back to the original but this is very time consuming and sometimes we cannot just undo all the steps and we have lost it so here we'll start we'll do masking so the advantage of masking is that I have um, no matter how many mistakes I make I still can I still can correct myself so let's suppose I have done I have removed this by mistake remove this by mistake remove this by mistake remove this by mistake so instead of undoing all these steps I'll do masking so how to do masking to enable masking this on in any layer select that layer and then click here so now my masking is enabled and just do it uh, let's just do it again I'll make a new layer I'll make a rectangle and then I'll make this fill it with the black color and uh, I'll enable masking and uh, now now my masking is enabled now how to use masking so now I'll select my brush tool here and now I have two colors here black and white there are no other colors in masking let's suppose I have selected the red color but when I will click on masking we have only two colors black and white so what do th these two colors mean so now I have set my back black color as the foreground color this is the foreground color and this is the background color so now the, my foreground color is black and I have my mask selected 
I will just click here and now I have revealed the background some portion of the background let's say I have made a mistake by clicking here I'll just what I'll do I'll change it to white and I'll just click over here again and I have undone instead of undoing it so in this way we can no matter how many mistakes we make we still can we still can correct all the things so let's take a practical example of masking so this is uh, the picture in from which we will remove the background all right so i'll just make a duplicate layer and i'll enable masking not not right now i'll just select this i'll just go i'll just click this button the quick selection tool and i'll just increase this brush size by pressing the bracket key and i'll just select all the way now i have it selected i'll just press control plus j on a windows and control plus j on a mac so now we have this selection what i'll do is plus press control and then click this layer and then go to quick selection tool and then go click refine edge now i have clicked refine edge just this brush will appear in front of you just drag it here not here Now I have made the selection again. I'll press Control plus J, and I have got this. So now I have to remove this. This. So there are two options to remove this portion. First of all, by using the eraser tool, which mostly people use, but there are very there mostly there are chances of mistake and once you do the mistake you cannot undo it let's suppose i am just erasing this portion and accidentally i just erase this portion and this portion and this portion and this portion so this is very time consuming i'll just i uh, have to undo all the steps so the easy way and the most efficient way is to do masking i'll just click this layer enable masking and then go and then click the brush tool and set my foreground color to black and i'll enable my hardness to something around 80 percent and okay and then go to my brush tool decrease the brush size and just slowly mask the area so let's suppose i have just clicked here i can just go back recover it again so i'll use the pen tool instead pen tool is a very very efficient tool once you get hand get your hands on it it's difficult in the start but it's very very useful now i have made my selection i'll just click selection here 
feather one and I will just brush over it. Okay, refine edge again. It's not refining. So now we have made our selection and we have separated this curl from the background and see this is our background and I will just show you what have we done. I will just make the half selection here and I will remove the background. I will just mask it. So here we go. This is what masking is all about. Make sure you use masking on your all pictures instead of using the area.